You put all of these up, you shake it, mm -hmm. try to make Elena it. Lopez and her son Diego attend Bridge of Grace Ministries on Gaywood Drive in Fort Wayne. And for them, it's more than a place of worship. I like coming here because I like the people here, my tutor. They make uh, good grades. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, we are happy. But educational help is a small part of what this church of many nations offers. I was sitting in my backyard and I can hear the shootings. Pastor Javier Mondragon, a former gang member, started serving the southeast side Mount Vernon neighborhood in 2008. He knocked on all 550 homes to find out his neighbor's needs. And the number one answer was, we don't feel safe. It's a crime. So he talked with police and firefighters and became the neighborhood association president. Through grants and donations from charitable foundations, his church began life skills programs and held social activities to encourage community involvement. Crime went down. Numbers from the Fort Wayne Police Department show that in 2013 there were 33 burglaries and 25 thefts in the Mount Vernon neighborhood. In 2015, five burglaries and eight thefts. Now people began to know each other. Bouncing off that success, the church now has a housing ministry. Community Development Director Raina Bradley walked me around the neighborhood. Instead of leaving for greener pastures, she and the pastor stay in this low-income area. I live in this home directly across the street. To help others collectively work for a high quality of life. We want to live and work in the neighborhood so that our concerns are the same as our neighbors' concerns. Bridge of Grace has taken over four rundown homes and seven empty lots. Work on a playground is already underway. We eventually hope that we can grow wealth in the community amongst our residents.